Hello and welcome to Bits Box World, builds made easy. If you're anything like me, I like a really bright battlefield. So I wanted to make some flags as sort of capture points or objectives. And I've got these skewers with really interesting ends and they reminded me of flagpoles. So all you need is a bit of fabric, <laughs> whatever that is, a used sock or maybe some worn out underwear, just a bit of fabric that you can use for your flags. Uh, I've got a couple of types there, so a worn out sock and this sort of science-y fabric that I had for my kids. Start off by cutting up your fabric into a flag shape. So there's loads and loads of different flag shapes that you can make, banner shapes that you can really have a real good time with this, making them look really, really cool. Uh, but I thought this black sock, because the material comes across quite rough and rugged, I thought this could look really good for a orc banner. Because, uh, you know, they, they like to make things rough and rugged. It's not all pristine like what High Elves would do or maybe Batonians. So I'm going to make this a bit split, cutting some slits in it to make it a bit frayed. And uh, you can use your scissors or you can tear it up or a bit of both just to give your flag a bit of character. And as this one is going to be a banner, it's going to have a sort of crossbeam. I'm going to start off by just cutting out that shape at the top. That allows you to wrap around your banner later around a bit of wood, a bit of the skewer. And cut some slits into it so you can just make it look a bit weathered and worn and a bit frayed. And my whole idea with these was I'm going to be playing some old worlds and I like playing scenario based games uh, a bit more than pitch battle. Pitch battle is awesome and all, but um, where you've got an objective, where you've got something that's going to pull your armies together to fight for a cause, fight for a place. These flags can really help to identify those objectives. So I'm going to get a bit of PVA glue. Because I don't want these flags to be just loose floppy fabric. And if you get a bit of PVA glue and add some water to it, then mix that all up into a sort of quite wet solution of the PVA glue. You can then start to paste this onto your fabric. And what that does is it works as sort of a hardener. So if you wanted to have it just standing nice and straight on a battlefield on your pole, this hardens it up. You want to do quite a lot of the PVA glue. So make sure the whole thing is covered and soaked in it. And then whilst it's still wet, I do want to prepare my flag poles as well, my banner poles. So with my skewers, I'm just going to measure them up to make sure that they fit nicely. And if you are making a banner, instead of just sticking it onto the crossbeam, I just wind it round. So I cut that slit in the middle earlier just to make it a bit more interesting than just a straight wind round. With this just roll it over and the fabric rolls over and when it dries it holds to itself in the PVA glue and with the the banner pole as well or the flag pole I'm going to stick this to the crossbeam but I want to make a sort of divot in the back of that stick so when you come to glue it on it's got something that grips on so it's not just two round posts stuck together this gives it a bit of a greater grip with your super glue so just do a drop of the super glue and then you can glue that upright flagpole or banner pole onto the back of your banner and 
And as I said, I'm experimenting with a couple of different bits of fabric. So this sort of sciencey fabric that I had, um, it, it just is a bit thinner than the sock. And um, it, it doesn't fray as much as the sock. So I'm going to use this as a more stylized banner for my high elves, basically. Because I think they would go for pristine banners <laughs> themselves. But it's the same concept. Just apply some wet PVA glue to them. And they start to stiffen and harden up as they dry. And you can be really creative with these. So I've gone with lots of different slots at the top here for this banner so when you wind it round you get a sort of gripping effect on the top so this is my hardened orc banner it's uh, nice and brittle now ready for some coloring and the same happens with these other fabric banners as well they go nice and thick so they don't slope down if they're standing up in a battlefield and another good thing is if you do have any frayed edges that you don't want, that hardens as well. So it's really easy to just cut off with a pair of scissors. And I also had a go at making a sort of flowing banner as well. One that's blowing in the wind that has got those creases. And then you want to apply a bit of base coat to them as well so for my high elf ones or my goodies i'm going to go with white and for my baddies i'm going to go with black and uh, i used just spray paint for them so i sprayed them all nice and quick and then you can start to paint them up so i'm just using citadel paints here and um i'm not very good at painting awesome banners using paint i've seen some beautiful wonderful ones so all i'm going to do with this orc banner to start off with is i'm going to just give it a base coat of where i want to start doing my design in the citadel yellow there we are base coat of yellow done but i'm not very good at painting an awesome design and i found these acrylic pens that people use for sort of stone designing or wood designing and uh i just thought i'd have a go at using these i'll leave a link in the comments below of where i got them from they were about seven pounds i think for for these pens and they just improve my ability to design something that i'm fairly happy with because i get a lot more control using these acrylic pens so this is going to be my high off banner here and what I'm going with is a sort of sun effect and uh, it does look okay okay because you can get some fair detail and certainly with my orc banner there the moon I think looks pretty good and I also had a go here at another high off banner as well. So that is uh, my three banner designs done. Uh, just painted the poles as well. So they've got a wood effect on them. Beech wood for the high elves and a darker wood for the orcs and goblins. And I'm gonna cut off a bit of my big block of foam there to make some stands for these. So these are gonna be like a rock effect painted them grey and this one I just uh, popped a hole in the top so I can stand my banner up in it. Gave them a bit of highlighting using a light, lighter bit of grey there mixing the grey with the white and those rocks they, they look pretty good but I did want to highlight some of the darker aspects. So I'm going to make a brown wash so I can just apply that over the entirety of the rock. And it just really brings out those darker recesses. And I think it does add to the rock. Instead of just being a grey rock, which is kind of the standard thing that I do, I thought I'd go with a bit of a wash as well. And then lastly, to hide this banner hole at the top and to give a bit more interest to the rock, 
I just applied some PVA glue and using my green static grass here, I'm just going to pinch some clumps and start to apply that onto my rock. So this static grass I really like. This is a longer version. It's about five mil and um, it really does look great if you can stand it up. If you just put it on a board or on a surface it, and it's lied down, it doesn't look that that good. So you do want to make sure that you spend a bit of time and a bit of effort standing it up. So I do this pinching technique. Just pinch and pull the bottom, get rid of any of the longer pieces, and then you can just place your pinch into the thick PVA glue that you applied. And it stands up really nicely and really well. And you end up with, I think, quite a nice looking effect. And it's hid that banner hole really, really well. So when I actually do put my banner in, you don't know that the hole is there. And that means that I can swap this banner out as well for any of the other flags that I make or for the scenarios that I'm playing. And there we go. I've got some banners for my battlefield. Bring a bit of color to it, a bit of mischief and some capture points for my battles. Let me know what you thought about these. It'd be great to hear your comments below. And if you haven't joined the community yet, why not think about subscribing and liking this video? And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching Bits Bots World, builds made easy.